Hi, and welcome to Motomouth. I'm Moshe K. Levy, and today we're going to be talking about these CD Deep Rain boots. Now, with new leather and Gore-Tex boots routinely commanding over $500 per pair in the marketplace, CD has combined the characteristics of its top-shelf Touring and ADV boots and deleted some of the more expensive materials in order to create this new Deep Rain series. They're trying to bridge the gap between the features that serious riders expect and a more affordable price point. So I've been testing these since May for an upcoming review in Motorcycle Consumer News Magazine. I can now share their performance over three seasons of commuting. Let's go to an overview. So let's start with what's not here. There's no leather and there's no Gore-Tex. Instead, CD has substituted the synthetic leather called Techno Micro for the exterior shell's base material, while the interior uses a breathable liner called Trock and Fuss. Besides these material swaps, the Deep Rain boots boast a host of notable features suitable for both on-road riding and moderate off-roading as well. The exterior styling smartly balances the promise of rugged durability with contemporary aesthetics, starting with the stylized faux suede upper, which blends nicely with the surrounding Techno Micro material. A huge Velcro closure tab lives on the shin area, beneath which a full-height gaiter ensures that the feet stay dry even while wading in deep puddles. Two replaceable micro-adjustable nylon and aluminum cam lock buckles with memory retention straps provide a snug, secure fit. A bonded, non-slip lug-type sole and nylon insole are both proven designs, while the front shin is fortified with a generous helping of TPU. Out back, a beefy, shock-resistant heel cup lives underneath a full-width, highly reflective panel for added nighttime conspicuity. Accordion stretch panels on the front foot and Achilles tendon allow flexibility for comfort while walking. And finally, an integrated strap on the rear allows the rider to conveniently pull the boot on and off without having to bend all the way down. The good news continues inside, where the antibacterial trock and fuss liner and standard removable arch support conspire to provide a cozy but breathable environment for the feet. Now out on the road, the deep rains exceeded all my expectations. I first immersed them in water for a full six hour bathtub test and not a drop leaked inside, nor was there any leakage whatsoever over months of testing. Comfort under all tested conditions was superb, including extended rides through the hottest summer ever on record. So much of the credit for this has to go to the synthetic materials themselves. And despite the robust appearance, these boots are very light, weighing at only 4.7 pounds per pair for my size 10. This translated into less fatigue while riding and walking and hiking. And likewise, the Techno Micro material simply doesn't scuff unless the boots take a big hit. Usually at this point in my testing cycle after three seasons, leather boots typically show multiple wear marks from abrasion against the motorcycle and flying road debris. But by contrast, the deep rains still look like they came out of the box yesterday. So such admirable performance in real world conditions should alleviate any initial skepticism riders may have about the synthetic materials used in these boots. And while perhaps the luxury and breathability of Techno Micro and Trock and Fuss are a few scintillas below the gold standard of genuine leather and Gore-Tex, the MSRP for the deep rain boots is only $295, a frankly irresistible value proposition. So for functionality, I gave them four out of five wheelies, for value, five out of five wheelies, and for durability, five out of five wheelies. Until next time, keep the shiny side up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of your favorite Moto Gear reviews.